Hello everybody. <clears throat> Hopefully you're having an amazing day thus far. Just want to play some music and hopefully a song is played that may encourage you. So tonight I want to uh, kind of dig into the repertoire of the career of Henry Jackson and the Henry Jackson Company. But before I start all of that, uh, I want to uh, I want to uh, I want to play a song from Pastor Kenneth Lockhart, as well as I want to just uh, promote this book once again. Uh, I think this is a great book, and I think that um, this is something that would be a gr greater inspiration of, to you to have. Uh, it definitely it goes inside of our culture as African Americans, and it pretty much. Uh, it, it sheds light on the wonderful creativity of this art form of gospel music. And who better to write such a phenomenal book than Professor, should I say, uh, Charles Clancy, uh, living legend. So get this book, it's entitled The Handbook of Gospel Music. Let's take a listen to Pastor Kenneth Lockhart and the first, uh, first uh, Jewish District State Mass Choir. It's going to be all right. Ladies and gentlemen, saints and friends, it's my awesome privilege, a divine, distinct honor to present to you. You are to give it up for Minister Kenneth Lockhart and the first news. Yeah. 
don't play that much of it, but that thing feels good to me because it's something about knowing that thing that it's going to be all right just, just makes you feel good deep down in your soul. I don't care what it is that you may be going through. I'm here to let you know that Jesus is going to make it all right. So that's why I finished listening to this. Because I think this is a wonderful message for the people today. Pastor Kenneth Lockhart and the first uh, first Jewish district state mass choir. That was released on uh, Diversity Records uh, in 1999. Uh, the executive producer was uh, Jerome Farrell, another gospel legend. All right, so let's kind of get started in here. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to uh, do things a little different here um, because I, I'm feeling that it's going to be all right. And since I know that it's going to be all right, I just want to simply say, precious Lord, take my hand. Dr. Henry Jackson was born in Shreveport, uh, Louisiana, moved to uh, San Francisco around the age of four. Uh, he uh, took uh, music lessons at an early age. Uh, he studied classical. Uh, some of his early inspirations was some of the, was the group by the name of the Davis Sisters, and on and on and on. Moved to Los Angeles, uh, started with the LA, well, Los Angeles Community Choir with Harrison Johnson. Did two albums with that, with that choir, and then he moved on uh, to start his solo career. So let's go to the latest project that he has out, and there is a tune. He, he reached way back and get a Dorsey, and he uh, put some, um, some um, some uh, modern music and spin to it, and it's all right with myself. So let's take a listen to Dr. Henry Jackson. This is his latest project, and this song is entitled Precious Lord.
All right, so let's go to some vinyl. So that was from his latest release. It took years for it to be done, but I'm so excited that we have this now. And uh, one thing that stands out to me about Henry Jackson is that not only can he sing harmonically, but he also sings with a lot of soul. And uh, his voice definitely reaches uh, to the soul of men. All right, so this is an album that was released in 1980. Uh, this was uh, James Cleveland Presents. Uh, this was a wonderful album. Literally, it's like the title of the album is a portrait of Hen Henry Jackson. And literally, when you listen to it, like you hear all of the different colors and uh, the variations that's you know within his music musical characteristics. So let's take a listen to a song that he wrote entitled "That's the Way God Want Us to Be." Hopefully, you like it. I love it. Directly singing to you, like he has that lips or that signature about his style that he's very up close and personal. No matter uh, whether it's on a record or if it's live, 
So that was a beautiful song. Uh, sharing and caring, that's the way that God wants us to be. I truly believe that. I'm going to show you some pictures in here. But I'm going to play, let's see here. What do I want to play? Uh, let's play, um, uh, He Won't Let You Down. I'm not going to play all of it, but I'm going to play a good amount of it so that you can kind of get the gist of it. So, all right, let's take a listen. Again, this album came out in 1980. Blow your mind about it. As children, our parents teach us things, and this next song that I want to do it's kind of a little story of mine, about my childhood. When I was a little boy, still got your mom love on her because uh, you never get another mom not, not another biological mother uh, cherish your mother cherish your parents cherish people uh, you know it's, it's real critical you know we all need each other to survive so let's love on one another all right so that was in 1980 this album here that I'm about to play here, this is going to be the second album. This came out in 1974. The first one was 73, and that was self-titled. So let's listen to the title track on here, and it's just being live.
Henry Jackson's pen, it wrote uh, in a sense that it was just literally timeless. Like, this message is just wonderful. Just being alive, that's really something to really be grateful for. So many people are leaving, and uh, some people are leaving with a lot of work undone. And since you're still alive, you ought to be grateful that you still have breath in your body to do the work. So. Do the work, people. Let's do the work. All right, so let's listen to... Um, let's listen to this. So this is going to be the last album that he did with, uh, with the Henry Jackson Company. Um, what do I want to play from here? Uh, let's see here again and again. Not, not, you know what, I'll just play here. Now, in this era, uh, choir music was still prominent, and um, his music was really getting across the country, and a lot of his songs was being covered by various choirs. Here's a song that he arranged, and uh, Father Charles G. Hayes actually re-recorded or covered this particular arrangement. It's entitled, I'm Satisfied with Jesus. Jackson Company. Hopefully you enjoyed the music that I uh, played, uh, but I want to close out um, with Mark Hubbard and the United Voices of Christ. This is going to be their first album. Uh, there's a song to talk about No Condemnation, so I'm going to scan through it to get to it because I can't remember the title of it, but um, I really pray that you all are making it through. And you know what? Everybody's situation is different, too. Some people may still be working. Some people may not be working. Some people may be on unemployment. Some people may be on, may not be on unemployment. So, like, take this time critical because there's a lot of people that's really trying to adapt with this new normal or the change or the modifications that all of this has brought about. So, uh, Stay, 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 stay encouraging people. Trust me, if people didn't need to be encouraged, definitely now is the time that everybody needs a little encouragement. All right, let's take a listen.
Price really used to get down back in the day. Uh, I love humanity. Uh, love on someone and change your life. 